good morning, Hi. Uh, Maggie Maleva. Uh, thank you so much for taking some time to speak with us. Um, Thanks I've, for I've, having me. I've gone to your natural habitat. Yes. Um, to, to have this, this conversation with you. Um, sports and especially tennis has been uh, a part of your life, your whole family's life, it looks like. Um, Nelson Mandela once said that sport really has the power to, to change the world. It has the power to, to unite, to change attitudes. Um, you're in a good position to, to comment on that. Have you experienced that? I have experienced it sometimes. I, uh, I have traveled the world quite a lot because of tennis. Sports has really made me a lot more open-minded. And when I see tragedies in the world, I, I really think this can happen to me and it can happen. Mm. Just traveling, make, it does make you realize that um, the earth is a, is a small place. Turning to, to refugees, before the current crisis, 2013, uh, people didn't talk too much about refugees. Then it became a, a big issue. Um, we've seen how, uh, both in, in Bulgaria, but more in Europe in general, um, the, the issue has been, been addressed. What is your take on, on the way that, that, that Europe has, has dealt with that? Uh, many countries have have tried their best and have mm -hmm. done and have done very well. Other countries don't want to take refugees, and it's a problem. Uh, I think here in Bulgaria we are we are a, a very close country. We we are not um, we are a bit um, of a, a small province, like a small village, and we don't know many different people. So I think that's why maybe our mentality is to accept different people. Mm -hmm. Somewhere I understand it. We, we don't have many colored people in Bulgaria, so people will be reluctant and this is somewhere understandable. Um, for, for me, it's... Um, <laughs> I don't know... There isn't, there isn't a problem here in Bulgaria with refugees because there actually aren't any. There yeah. are very, very few. So the, it, it's a artificially created problem. You have yourself helped some refugees in Bulgaria. I have helped some families with uh, finding them shelter to live for, for mm -hmm. a certain time. I haven't done that that much. Um, I would like to volunteer a bit more, but I've failed. <laughs> So, um, we also, my mom is very active when there was the first uh, refugee crisis. We collected a lot of, a lot of stuff for the camps. Mm -hmm. uh, then there was an influx of, of people and, and we, we organized to send them uh, clothes and stuff and food quite often. So we are, my family is quite conscious of their problems. I've, I've understood that your ancestors um, had to flee from the Armenian genocide. Um, has that in any way influenced you or your family's approach to this? Or is it, is it too long history? Uh, for sure, because uh, at home my, my mother always um, uh, talked about it. She didn't talk about it very much, but my mom always helped uh, people in need. Um, I think it has really had an influence on me. I remember that uh, uh, there was this uh, Roma lady that would come to our house, I don't know, once a month, and my mom would give her stuff. And this was in the 70s or 80s. So this definitely had an impact on me. I have one last question, and it's not an easy one. How would, how would you think that would, would be to, to be in the shoes of a, of a refugee? I have... Um, I'm going to start crying, but I have, I have actually tried to imagine it. And um, I have tried to imagine what, what it's like to walk in the cold mm. and maybe like have a baby and you're, you don't know if you will reach or where mm. you're going to. I hope uh, 
nobody has to go through that. Yeah. Uh, as, as nobody, but especially kids, you know, I have three children and um, I'm afraid to talk to them about these things. I, uh, I mention it sometimes so that they're conscious and they should appreciate what they have, but it's something I don't want to imagine. Yeah. Maggie, thank you so much Thanks. for this. Thank you for your inspiring work. Thank and, you. Uh, thank you very much.